Hey, what is up guys? It's Rick. In this video, I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be showing you guys how I turned this ugly old decommissioned police car into pure sweet cash. I'm creating a new segment where I fully restore and flip old police cars for profit from trash to cash. So if you want to learn how you too can find, buy, and flip old government fleet vehicles and make huge profits, then stay tuned. The full process is coming right up. Let's go. Here locally in Northern California, there is a monthly government fleet auction where police departments sell their decommissioned police cars at a great bargain. This time around, I had my mind set on purchasing one of their Ford Crown Victoria police interceptors. Since these vehicles are known for their severe duty capabilities, their dependability and cheap price, buying one would be a great investment. I decided if I can get one under 150,000 miles and under $1,500, I could scrape up some serious cash. So I went online and I signed up for the auction and browsed all the vehicles online. For the first hour, my luck was lacking. The vehicles were all selling for over $2,500 and after repairs and cosmetic work, my profits would just be diminished. But then I found this 2005 Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. She was ugly and rusted, but she was under 143,000 miles. After closely inspecting the photos, I noticed that the car had vinyl seats in the back instead of the usual prisoner cage. There was no spotlights, no holes or center console, which leads me to believe this must have been a community service vehicle and not a usual police patrol vehicle which spares it from the daily use and abuse of police work. This makes a perfect candidate for my next flip. I then ran a Carfax and a VIN number which told me that the car is worth $5,400. So if I can get her at $1,500 or below, I can still spend $1,000 on repairs and still make a shiny profit. So I decided she was the one. So I bid all the way up to $1,200 and to my surprise, I actually won Perfect. with not much of a bidding war. The next day, I went to go pick her up and oh boy, she was even uglier than I anticipated. Look at this piece of junk we bought. This poor thing is going to need a serious paint job. The sweet Crown Rick Auto Touch. Everything was there just like the pictures. There was no holes, no surprises, except the vehicle did not want to start and it was due to a dead battery. So we jumped there and headed straight to the battery shop and got a good refurbished battery for a total of $45. Now that I got her back at the yard, I can take a closer look at her. Lucky for me, I know how to paint cars and in another video, I'll show you guys how to paint your very own car outside. Super easy, quick, and cheap so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the video before you buy a car you should always run a code reader to find any engine problems even if there is no check engine sign shout out to cg solid for providing me with this powerful affordable and easy to use obd reader for regular do-it-yourself guys like myself i genuinely use this reader it has everything i need including live data check out their many products cgsolid.com links in the description Everything is running like it should. So these rusty rims need to be refurbished. Lucky for me is just surface rust. So some degreaser, some sandpaper, and some special wheel paint will do just the trick. So let's add that to the list. Okay, so I'm gonna need some new headlight housings. I'm gonna need to restore this grill. Look at here in the back. We're gonna need to restore the tail lights and the trunk lid. And we're gonna have to replace this Ford emblem right here. Oh, and I can't forget, I gotta tuck that bumper. The inside is super dirty, but the only things missing is the cup holder ashtray device and the dome light cover. Everything else is there and in good condition. Look at this, expires in 2099. How old will you be in 2099? Oof, this is dirty, not clean, but dirty. So yeah, first things first, we gotta replace the battery. All right, start her up. Ooh, bruh. 
That sounds smooth. All right, give her some juice. Yeah. Since I had the car running, I took it for a full test drive. The car idle was good. The acceleration was excellent. The handling was excellent. The transmission was excellent. The AC works, the heater works, the radio works. So far, so good. The only thing that I noticed is that the brakes are not working as good as they should. So I stopped at a local auto parts store and got me some ceramic super quiet brakes for $80. Remember guys, when you take a car to a test drive, make sure you leave the car running for at least 30 minutes just to make sure it doesn't overheat. While I was out driving around, I stopped at the paint shop and got all the supplies I needed to paint my car outside. When I got back to the yard, I decided to search the trunk and boy do I regret it. Everything smelled like pee. There was adult diapers, there was potty pads, women products, there was diaper rash cream spray. I don't know who drove this car but it sure looks like they had a serious out of control bladder problem. And of course we had to try on the diapers. Alright the first thing we're doing is removing all the extremities and then we are gonna start sanding. Now you're gonna wanna remove all the extremities so you don't scratch them when you sand or get paint on them. You also want to fully clean and degrease the whole vehicle before you paint. Sanding is my least favorite part of the painting job but it's 100% necessary. Take one good look at her because you will not recognize her when I'm done. I noticed this dent right here. I don't know if you can see it. There's actually a dent right there. I'm gonna kick this dent yeah. Very simple guys. Yeah, that is gonna need some serious TLC. Oof. Spider webs in there. We're gonna blow all this dust out of this planet. Okay, now it's time to detail the engine bay. First, I start by air blowing as much dust as I could. Then I spray strong degreaser without diluting it and allow it to marinate for a good 10 minutes. I then pressure wash every crook and cranny of the engine, including the hood. I know a lot of you guys will cringe about me not covering the alternator and spark plugs, but this pressure washer has really low GPMs and I immediately air dry it afterwards with my high pressure compressor. Now look at that, nice and shiny. Okay, after I got her all masked up, then I added the rust preventing primer. Like I said, painting a car is super easy and fun. I will make a video coming real soon, so stay tuned for that. Okay, here is some footage of what this looks like primed. The whole car is primed. Some bugs did land on the primer and some bird decided to express how he really feels about my paint job. So I'm gonna have to water sand it to bring out the smoothest. Oh and I almost forgot to bondle the remaining dings from the dent we fixed. Alright this is the part that excites me the most when it's time to lay down the paint. I'm not gonna bore you guys with the same repetitive moves but a video is coming soon. Check it out. So yes, the paint job was a huge success. I'm very happy with it. Now I didn't even bother covering up the windshield because a windshield guy is coming tomorrow to completely replace it. And that way I can get into the little crevices. Okay, so now I'm gonna remove the wheels and I'm gonna fully restore all the extremities. And since the wheels are off, Funny Man is gonna be replacing the brakes.
While everything is drying, I'm going to change the oil. Here's a trick if you don't have an oil filter wrench. Just stick a screwdriver and turn it. Even better than a wrench. Chocolate milk, anybody? Look how nasty this oil is. It was long overdue. Then goes the air filter. Changing the dirty air filter increases the fuel efficiency. The air intake is coming off so I can thoroughly clean the mass airflow sensor. You want to use the proper cleaning agent. Do not use degreaser or brake parts cleaner. Since the intake is off, I will remove the throttle body so I can properly clean it. Look at that nasty gunk. I like to use a toothbrush and lots of throttle body cleaning spray. Look at that, just like new. Cleaning the throttle body will eliminate rough starting and increase the vehicle's performance. Since this space is cleared, it is a perfect time to remove the coils and get to the spark plugs. I like to fully inspect the coils and make sure that there's no cracks or corrosion. Okay, the spark plugs are out. Look at that, it was time for them to be replaced. Okay, I'm gonna replace the belt tensioner, the idler pulley, and the serpentine belt. Okay, now it's time to put back the spark plugs, the coils, throttle body, and intake. Here's the old one, and here's the new one. Now I'm going to fix the overspray inside of the wheel housing really quick. A absolute must do is buy new headlight housings. It literally makes a world of a difference. And of course it never hurts to touch up the grill. When you detail a car, make sure you clean out everything, and I mean everything, even where you don't think they will look. It's the little things that make a big difference. And always make sure you use the correct agents on the correct parts. More on that coming real soon. And also, when you're flipping a car, make sure you're not rushing it. Try and have fun, play some music, have some snacks. Trust me, this is a lot better than having a boss breathing down your neck. And plus you get to sleep in if you want to. I love doing this and I think you will too. So I went to a local junkyard and I got the missing ashtray right here. The only thing is that the color is a little off, but that's okay, black goes with anything. And I found this like brand new cover. You see how that butt is sagging? I'm gonna fix that right now. The good old bumper tuck. And look at her now, she looks sporty. Saggy, sporty. Which do you prefer? You don't need special skills or special tools to flip cars. Even if you paid somebody else to do it, you can make a solid profit. But what you do need is to have a love for cars and a positive attitude. Know this, many obstacles will come your way, but the only two things that you can control is your attitude and your effort your mindset is everything every day it's you versus you okay just gotta do the finishing touches to the interior and that is it it will be time for the grand reveal look at that so fresh and so clean no more dusty pee pee smell the windshield guy is here the final finishing touch Hey, that'll be fun to drive around like this. Nice, I can finally clean that piece of the dash that you can never reach.
Okay, so I posted the car online for $5,400 for the first couple of days. It was just a bunch of guys trying to trade me their old trucks and a bunch of other random items. This guy even tried to trade me a pit bull puppy and some weed for the car. <laughs> yeah, not happening. But finally, an older gentleman came wanting to buy his teenage son his first car. He test drove the car. He loved it gave me $5,400 did not even try to negotiate with me I was super juiced doesn't always happen but he must have been really impressed with the vehicle so I spent a total of $2,866 in total and I sold the car for $5,400 for a net profit of $2,534 not bad for just a couple of days of doing what I love all right guys it's time to give this baby a test drive now that she's finished Yeah, car drives pretty good. Oh, somebody cut my brakes! 